Today I'd like to talk about, uh, and I'm here today to talk about s solutions. I want, uh, I want every American to know that I'm taking inflation uh, very seriously, and it's my top for domestic priority. Americans have a choice right now between two paths. The other path is the ultra MAGA. Look, I know you got to be frustrated. I know. I can taste it. But the mega Republicans are going to enact so they can enact their extreme agenda. Look at their agenda. Ultra MAGA Republicans who seem to control the Republican Party now to have been able to control the Republican Party. I, I never anticipated that happening. Huh. I wonder whether that's the reason my prices are up. The ultra my, MAGA agenda. They've got it backwards in my view. In recent years, the average billionaire has paid about 8% in federal taxes. To stand up against the poison of white supremacy as I did my inaugural address to a single out as the most dangerous terrorist threat to our homeland is white supremacy. To transgender children to be free but they are wrong. We will determine America's future. A mind is a terrible thing to waste somebody with. Equality and democracy are under assault. We do ourselves no favor to pretend otherwise. So tonight, I've come to this place where it all began to speak as plainly as I can to the nation about the threats we face about the power we have in our own hands to meet these threats. Too much of what's happening in our country today is not normal. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. Not every Republican, not even the majority of Republicans are MAGA Republicans. But the Republican Party today is dominated, driven, and intimidated by Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans. And that is a threat to this country. MAGA Republicans do not respect the Constitution. They do not believe in the rule of law. They do not recognize the will of the people. MAGA forces are determined to take this country backwards. Backwards to an America where there is no right to choose, no right to privacy, no right to contraception, no right to marry who you love. They promote authoritarian leaders, and they fan the flames of political violence that are a threat to our personal rights, to the pursuit of justice, to the rule of law, to the very soul of this country. And they see their MAGA failure to stop a peaceful transfer of power after the 2020 election as preparation for the 2022 and 2024 elections. Trump and the extreme MAGA Republicans quote a clear and present danger to our democracy. But while the threat to American democracy is real, I want to say as clearly as we can, we are not powerless in the face of these threats. We are not bystanders in this ongoing attack on democracy. There are far more Americans far more Americans from every, from every background and belief who reject the extreme MAGA ideology than those that accept it. We're a nation of fear, division, and of darkness. MAGA Republicans have made their choice. They embrace anger. They thrive on chaos. They live not in the light of truth, but in the shadow of lies. This is a nation that honors our Constitution. We do not reject it. This is a nation that believes in the rule of law. We do not repudiate it. <clears throat> this is a nation that respects free and fair elections. We honor the will of the people. We do not deny it. And this is a nation that rejects violence as a political tool. We do not encourage violence. We are still an America that believes in honesty and decency respect for others. The blind loyalty to a single leader and a willingness to engage in political violence is fatal to democracy. The MAGA Republicans are to destroying American democracy. 
We, the people, will not let anyone or anything tear us apart. We here, you've heard it, more and more talk about violence as an acceptable political tool in this country. It's not. It can never be an acceptable tool. So I want to say this plain and simple. There is no place for political violence in America, period, none, ever. And all the calling for mass violence and rioting in the streets, this is inflammatory. It's dangerous. It's against the rule of law. And we, the people, must say, this is not who we are. We can't allow violence to be normalized in this country. It's wrong. We each have to reject political violence with, with all the moral clarity and conviction this nation can muster. But democracy endures only if we, the people, respect the guardrails of the republic. Only if we, the people, accept the results of free and fair elections. Only if we, the people, see politics not as total war, but mediation of our differences. Democracy cannot survive when one side believes there are only two outcomes to an election. Either they win or they were cheated. And that's where the MAGA Republicans are today. They don't understand what every patriotic American knows. You can't love your country only when you win. St. John's Church, widely known as the Church of the Presidents, was used last night by the current commander in chief to make a statement. Shortly after authorities used force to clear the area of protesters, President Trump walked to the church from the White House and held up a Bible that just one night earlier, flames ripped through the lower level of St. John's Church. And uh, as you can see, uh, there's definitely a fire here. The historic church set on fire by protesters is luck. The historic church set on fire by protesters is luck. The historic church set on fire by protesters is luck. The historic church set on fire by protesters is luck. to still be standing. Was this the nursery that was just used on Sundays or? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The next day, the rector, Robert Fisher, showed me what was left, a charred changing table and melted children's toys. It looks like they just busted open the window. If not for a fire door, the church could have been a total loss. They defaced this church and they set it on fire. American democracy only works only if we choose to respect the rule of law and the institutions that were set up in this chamber behind me. The historic church set on fire by proof. Only if we respect our legitimate political differences. I will not stand by and watch. I will not the will of the American people be overturned by wild conspiracy theories and baseless evidence-free claims of fraud. I will not stand by and watch elections in this country stolen by people who simply refuse to accept that they lost. MAGA Republicans look at America and see carnage and darkness and despair. They spread fear and lies, lies told for profit and power. But I see a different America, an America with an unlimited future, an America that's about to take off. I hope you see it as well. Just look around. Notwithstanding those folks you hear on the other side there, they're entitled to be outrageous. Good manners is nothing they've ever suffered from. So speak up, speak out, get engaged, vote, vote, vote. We are the United States of America, the United States of America. Why, why attack Sanders? Why, 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 you got more okay. questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black.